Hello. I'm going to show you how to graph some different kinds of triangles on the graphing calculator. It looks like this. Ready? Okay, so there are multiple illusions going on here, and I know I'm sorry I said we were gonna go away from the stray away from the oscillating triangle, but that's just it's a different kind. And there are multiple illusions going on here. First of all, I'm operating in three spatial dimensions plus time. You're seeing this in two spatial dimensions plus time. It looks like higher order dimensions, and it's also the illusion of being a single dimension, one string that I'm just contorting the basis set. But here's how it goes. So if you really wanted to, if you ever wanted to turn math into a sport, and there's just that's something that one man alone could do, it's, it's, it's great. So you double the string, okay, as we covered previously. We're going to go like this. We grab the untwisted string. We insert here like this. We twist this way. I'm left-handed. If you're right-handed, just follow along. It's a mirror image. We get this X here. We, we put this string around this string twice, and we have... This situation, full twist in the middle. We get these, the string is on these fingers like this. Do my opening A. I do my under, I'm gonna do my over, under, over, under, and through. Careful not to get it there. We go like this, and then we're gonna close our fingers and get this surrounding loop off, and we're in this position. And then we go up and down a few times, going from a line to a equilateral to isosceles. Then we tip to the side to get our scaling triangles. And then we go back to the middle. And I put these loops, these two loops on these two fingers. I grab down below the X. I go like this. I separate the strings to kind of sachet the knot out. And then I grab both. I go up on top, up on top. I split the hairs. I split the string with my fingernail. I let it go. I cinch it up. I 